Shaylee Peters here with you on the Rural Radio Network, and we're down here at the Kansas Livestock Association's annual convention. We've got here Shailene McNeil. She is an NCBA Executive Director of Human Nutrition Research, which nutrition is kind of the theme down here this year. There's a lot of information, a lot of talk going on around it. What will you specifically be talking to producers about down here? We're going to be talking about how nutrition is still a limiter of beef demand and that we know that if consumers felt better about the nutritional attributes of beef, they would choose beef more often. So what we're talking about is what we're doing with the checkoff dollars to address human nutrition. It starts with research. And one of the great things about the checkoff program is, is that they fund nutrition research to understand the role that beef plays in health. And there's not any other research dollars that are focused just on beef nutrition in the nutrition world. So it's really important important that we have those checkoff dollars to be able to do that. So we're going to talk about the great science that uh, farmers and ranchers have funded through their checkoff program and how we use that to help um, inform and educate our consumers about the great health benefits of beef. Well, and that's so important right now because consumer information, consumers want to know more. Consumers are demanding more information more than ever from their producers. How is the NCBA and what you're talking to producers about really getting that message out there? What options are available to consumers? You know, consumers are asking lots of questions and they're so interested in nutrition, but you're right, there is so much information out there that sometimes it can be really confusing and conflicting. And what we know about our customers and our consumers today is what they're really looking for. I think what we're all looking for is good food that's good for us. And that's the thing that beef really delivers. There's so many great nutrients that beef delivers in a package that people love to eat. And so what we're doing is helping consumers not only with just nutrition information, because there's some basic knowledge about beef they just don't realize. They don't think about it as having a zinc and B vitamins in addition to the iron and, and protein that it has. So we're talking about the nutritional benefits, but we're also showing them how they can enjoy beef as part of a healthful dietary pattern. So we're not uh, reminding them that they can have burgers and fries and soda waters all the time. I mean, they don't need any help remembering that part. What we're trying to teach them is that beef works great with broccoli and stir fries and other nutrients that you want to get more of. So it's really about associating beef with a healthful diet and creating those ideas for consumers so that the healthiest people want to eat beef as well. Absolutely. Now, swinging back to the producer side of things, uh, just this summer it was released that they're getting $11, a little over $11 back on that checkoff dollar that they invest. Talk a little bit about how that plays into the research done, you know, how that is benefiting the producers. Well, you know, nutrition is a limiter of beef demand. And if people felt better about the nutritional benefits, they would want to choose beef more often. It would have more value to them. They would be willing to pay a higher price for those nutritional benefits that they knew that it had. So it's a big part of a driver of beef demand. And we're seeing more and more opportunities to invest in nutrition research and then also communicate the nutritional benefits. For example, we can now put that beef is an excellent source of protein on a beef package in the store. So when that consumer's there and they see that, that can be a motivating reason for them to value beef and be willing to um, purchase beef more often. Absolutely. And one thing I knew you were talking about outside of here just beforehand, um, it starts when they're very young and can go all through their livelihood. Is that right? There's so many cool benefits of beef at various stages in the life cycle because of that unique nutritional package that it delivers. And so pregnant women need iron and zinc. Beef has that iron and zinc. When babies are born, what's uh, what the research has shown is that breast milk, which is considered the gold standard nutrition for babies, at about six months of age, it starts to decline naturally in iron and zinc. That's just nature's way of preparing the baby to start eating um, real foods. And that's why we start introducing foods often. It's rice cereal uh, for a baby's first food. But what the research has actually shown is that meat, beef specifically, can be a really important first food because it has the natural source of iron and zinc that complements the breast milk and really gives that baby that full nutritional package that they need. And actually, recent research with Denver babies right here in the U.S. has shown that babies that are introduced meat as their first food actually grow better than uh, babies who are not getting the meat, who are getting other forms of of first foods for babies. So really neat research that really shows specifically the benefits of each stage of the life cycle. Very powerful. Um, 
I know we're just here into this first full day of the KLA convention, but any feedback yet from producers, anything that uh, they're really wanting to hear from you? I think producers have always cared a lot about nutrition, and that's one of the reasons why as a registered dietitian and a nutrition scientist, I love working for farmers and ranchers because they really believe in healthy, wholesome food, and they're producing one of the world's best foods out there. So I think that the interest in nutrition is there, and what I've always seen is a lot of interest in informing themselves about the nutritional story and understanding what's happening in the nutrition environment and how it impacts their food. I mean, they've seen for a long time since the 1970s that they've had challenges with recommendations to limit beef and they've always been committed to um, addressing science-based reasons to understand that. So I think they follow the topic, they're interested in the topic and, and they're here to, lear to learn more about what they can do to uh, be better informed about beef's nutritional role in health. All right. Well, thank you so much, Shailene. Again, Shailene McNeil with the NCBA, and she's here at the Kansas Livestock Association's convention talking to producers about all of their options with nutrition and what a great source their beef is providing to U.S. consumers. For the Rural Radio Network, I'm Shaylee Peters.